Toy again. Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. For those of you just joining us, I'm Keely here in red on the rocks outside, giving you a wave so you can see the voice is coming from. Again, welcome to our 12 o'clock Caring for Marine Mammals session. As I mentioned earlier, this program today is an opportunity to see our trainers interacting with these animals and also learn why that training is so important, particularly for the two rescued and rehabilitated dolphins that you see right here on site. But because it is a training session, it is fairly integral that we have some trainers who are joining us down here on the dock. On the dock right now is Paula, and she's giving you a wave. Behind her is Kristen, and then of course there are the two dolphins themselves. I'll start off with introducing Helen, who's in front of Kristen right now. Helen is the smaller, more lightly colored animal moving through the habitat right now. She is what is known as a Pacific white-sided dolphin. Now this is a species that can be readily found here off the coast of BC. How many of you here have ever been on a BC ferry or maybe you're planning an upcoming trip? Yeah, exactly. If you're watching carefully and the time is just right, you could actually swap these specific white-sided dolphins from the ferries. They've even been seen from the seawall and even the Burrard Street Bridge right here in downtown Vancouver. So yeah, these are one of our neighbors. We may in fact come across them. And Helen has been here on site at Vancouver Aquarium for about 10 years now, building a very strong relationship with her trainers. She's in her mid to late 20s. The other dolphin that you see against the dock right now, he is larger and darker, that is Chester. He is a false killer whale, which despite the name is a species of dolphin. Interesting name for one, but yes, he is a kind of dolphin. And how many of you are hearing about a false killer whale for the very first time today? Yes, so this is a species that you do not as readily see on whale watching tours of BC fairies. Hey, they're pretty rare. You quite rarely come across them. So we are very lucky to have that opportunity to learn more about this species here at the Vancouver Aquarium. And the only reason why he's here is because he was found stranded on the west coast of Vancouver Island in the summer of 2014. He underwent a lengthy rehabilitation process and has been here at at the Wild Coast Habitat since about this summer. And it has been very exciting to see his new interactions with Helen, with his trainers, and how he begins to learn things. But of course, one of the best people to first tell us a little bit more about this training would be a trainer. So Kristen, take it away. Thanks, Keely. Hey, everyone, over here giving you guys a wave so you can see where that voice is coming from. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I think is the most important reason that we train. Uh, so a lot of people come to our shows and they want to see things like these really high energy behaviors that Helen is certainly capable of doing. And those things are really important for her health as well. But our number one priority is what we call husbandry behavior. And those are basically any voluntary healthcare behavior. So that can be something as simple as checking over their bodies. We do body exams with these guys every single time we come out to see them. Checking for any nicks, cuts, scrapes, scratches, anything like that. We just want to make sure that those things are moving in the right direction because as you might be familiar with bumped knees and skinned elbows, those things are pretty normal, but we like to monitor them with our animals. We can also go a step further with these guys. Voluntary ultrasounds, voluntary urine samples, voluntary global cultures, uh, fecal swaps, or even what I've asked Helen to do right here, which is the setup for a voluntary blood sample. Now, I'm not actually taking a blood sample right now, obviously, but uh, you can see probably if you have really good eyes, the blood vessels right here are really close to the surface, so there are some darker lines running along the underside of her tail flutes. And this is where we take the blood sample from our dolphins. That way we can get a better look on the inside of their bodies, make sure they're just as healthy on the inside as they appear to be on the outside. So obviously this is a, a voluntary behavior because uh, you cannot hold on to a dolphin's tail that does not want you to do that. Uh, as strong as you might think that you are, dolphins are always stronger. So we definitely rely on that bond of trust and the training that we do to take the best possible care of our animals. And I think that's the most important reason why we train, but certainly not the only reason. So I'll pass it back to Katie to talk more about that. Thanks, Kristen. And just as a note, that healthcare behavior, those healthcare behaviors are also very important for Chester, the false killer whale as well. So you can see him just starting the process of learning uh, how to uh, participate in other kinds of healthcare testing as well. But naturally, just seeing your doctor every now and again is 
not the only thing that keeps you healthy. Another very important aspect of staying healthy is getting some exercise. Now, for many of you, you might like long walks, maybe you swim, maybe you rock climb. For these dolphins, the high-energy behaviors like this that Helen is demonstrating in the center of the habitat, leaps, jumps, play, social interactions uh, between themselves and their trainers are all what help keep the muscles of these dolphins in great shape. They often engage in lots of energetic behaviors off of our coast. We want to replicate that here on site. And even in between training sessions, we used to definitely offer a lot of those high energy behaviors all of, on their own accord. It was just great. It's something that we love to see is an extra move towards that uh, exercise that these two animals need. <laughs> definitely looks impressive there. And Helen is looking healthy, but that is, it's not just the exercise that keeps her healthy. If you think about it, another thing that keeps you healthy is a good diet. And I'm certain many of you have a good idea of what a diet of a dolphin is. Can you shout it out for me? What do they eat? Yeah. You've got it. Here at the aquarium, they get herring, capelin, Spanish sardines, and another very important part of their diet is squid. For these animals, squid and octopuses are kind of like floating water bottles. That's how you can get their fresh water. So they get uh, sustainable, restaurant-quality seafood uh, at just the right levels, measured for all the calories and protein and vitamins that they need each and every day. And they do get a fair amount of it. I mean, take a look at Helen. Like Helen's. That's also part of the reason why he was eventually deemed to be non releasable as well. 
So we're very lucky to have both of these animals here on site because it gives us that hands-on experience to continue to participate in other rescue efforts. Uh, we do this very consistently, almost on a weekly basis. Uh, and of course, it allows us to participate in a lot of research. But all of these efforts wouldn't be possible without all of you. Because the Vancouver Aquarium is a self-supporting, non-profit organization, your admission in purchasing our cafe or pig shop, all of that goes straight back to supporting energetic dolphins like these that are here on site, the rescue efforts that we make, and also the research that these two dolphins participate in to help better protect other dolphins off of our coast as well. So give yourself a little pat on the back for helping out these animals. If you want to do more, come back, visit again at any point in time, consider a membership, or even volunteering here on site. Because it really can go a long way in the lives of animals like these. So thank you so much for coming by to learn a little bit more about why training is so important. On behalf of myself, the trainers and the dolphins, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy a diver's weekend here at the Vancouver Aquarium.